What's the chat and chow? Shush Beats Games here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Fire Red Omega Egglock. In the last episode, we took down Cinnabar Island and we got our seventh gym badge. We got the flame badge from Blaine. And in today's episode, we are going to be going to one island eventually. But the first thing I want to do is I want to hatch out these eggs. So I have six Pokemon. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six Pokemon. I want to hatch them out for eggs. So let's do that. Number 29 for the first one. That is the shelter here. And that is number 29 right there. I'm going to put you there, Metagross. There will be a time index in the description below if you want to skip all this. If I can remember, that is. A Teddy Ursa! call you. I have a load of teddy bears. What do you look like? Which teddy bear do you... Um, no, that wouldn't fit. Spell that one. Um, you know what? I'm going to name you after one of my first teddy bears. Speed. Because I have a teddy bear called Speed. And he has he has a friend called Shearer as well. So they're football. For, you know, Gary Speed, Alan Shearer, that kind of thing. I also had a Michael Owen once, but that went... Okay, so Adamant Nature, uh, Pick Up, Take Down, Earthquake, Brick Break, and Hidden Power. You know what? I'm going to move Lisa, Elsa, uh, Ella, Billy, and Speed up here. Now, Lord Helix, what are you hatching to? Number four. One of these days, I'm going to do a teddy bear lock where I'm going to literally nickname all of my Pokemon after my teddy bears that I have and then show you guys which teddy bear I'm nicknaming them after. Because, like, I have a lot of teddy bears and I'm not afraid to say I have a lot of teddy bears. I like my teddy bears. I'd never get... I got rid of them once and I would never do that again. It hurts so badly to get rid of them. I'm only thankful... I'm thankful I only got rid of a few. It's a dust skull. Um... Well, I know one name to call you. Because if you've watched my uh, Explorers of Darkness LP, you'll know the, you'll know the nickname off by heart. This is Heel Turn. Because in that you have a Dust Noir. And you think Dust Noir's a good guy all along. You keep on thinking Dust Noir's a good guy and... Uh, 
in the darkness and stuff like that. Massive spoilers. Don't tune out if you don't want to hear this. He's not a good guy. He's a bad guy. He works for he works for the uh, main boss of that game. So he's not a good guy. Okay, so Wingle, Wingle next. Wingle next. What you got for me? Number twelve. Wait, no. Number five. I know that I've hatched some of these eggs. This one's not hatching that well. This one might need a cut. But I'd rather post edit a cut than uh, pre edit a cut. So I'd rather not like stop the recording to get a cut. Are you anywhere near hatching? Oh my god, this thing is not near anywhere near hatching. Okay, I'm going to take a cut and I will be back with this egg hatches because I think this one's a max. Or it could be a bad egg. These, these not be a bad egg. Because bad eggs never hatch. I'm going to hatch this off screen, so I will see you guys in a minute. Okay. I am... Okay, I am back. And this egg has hatched into a cinderette. Well, we know what Padders calls his cinderettes, so I'm going to just call it Box 2. There you go, Box. So I'm in Cinnabar, I, uh, I'm in Celadon because Celadon has some big long roads and it took forever to hatch this thing. In fact, I went, I saved the game, went back into A saves and put this egg down to zero so I could actually hatch them on. If you're skipping this, you won't know any of this, but that's why I had to do. I had to, uh, that's how I had to hatch this Pokemon. I basically had to go into the game and change the egg's value. I shouldn't have had to do that, and I probably shouldn't have done that, because that's kind of could, could be considered cheating, but I was getting nowhere with that egg. And I've still got three eggs to go. So hope if you press the skip button in the description below the, uh, to tell you what time index to skip to so that you know when we're done hatching eggs and we're actually going to one island. You know. You did the right thing. Because you won't see any of this if you did that. Hey, it's another Torchic. And we all know what I call my Torchics. This is Kickstart. Rash Nature, Blaze, Ember, Quick Attack, Rock Slide, and Aerial Ace. Interesting moveset. Very, very interesting moveset. Number 10 is the next egg we will hatch in a minute. For the... Uh, for the Lickitung. 
So we're nearly done. As long as we don't get one of those 255 eggs, we're fine. So that's 12. No, that's 12. That's 11. That's 10. Zigzagoon! We all know about fries from Maryland, but this is his British cousin. This is chips! Sassy nature is chips with pick up, tackle, growl, pursuit, and charm. So that's chips. And the final mon that we have to hatch in Hardy's box today. Is A is number, number no number nine which is there. So at the end of this session I will hack I will level these all up with the brand new rare candies that I've also uh, put into the game by A saves because you know I'm a nice person who puts in more rare candies for himself. And I was running low too, so I'm glad I did. An Abra! Minder. That's what I'm gonna call you. Let's take a look at Minder. So, Teleport, Psychic, Calm, Mind, and Shadow Ball. I've had so many eggs. If I was to white out, I'd have so much of a team right now. It's like I've almost got like two boxes full of mons that could be my team. Metagross and then we'll go and talk to Bill and then we'll go and do all the things that we need to do in Zinnip, uh, on one island. Alright Bill. Hey, B hey, you kept me waiting. Ready to sail to one island? You don't give up, do you, Bill? All right, fine. Well, that's it. Let's go. Look, my pal's boat arrived too. He sent it specially for Cinnabar, uh, right here to Cinnabar to pick me up. Here we are, this is one island. There are several islands around here, and this is one of them. My friend Cleo is inside. He, uh, he'd, and he sent the boat to fetch me. He's in charge of the island's PC networks, but he's on his lonesome out here. Why am I telling you all this now? Well, let's just go and see Cleo.
Hey there, Cleo. Uh, bonjour, Bill. I have not seen you in a long time. I'm glad you came out here. Well, absolutely. You're, how's your research coming along? Oh, hold on a sec. Joanne, this is my buddy Cleo. He is a dedicated PC maniac. Cleo, this is Joanne. She's a rising uh, contender as a Pokemon League champion. That's really impressive. Uh, I hate to say it, but I have zero aptitude for battling. Uh, anyways, I am glad to meet you. So, uh, bring me up to speed. What's, uh, how's your machine running? It's uh, running fine, but we're too remote out here. The PCs uh, of this island can't connect with your PCs, Bill. Oh yeah? Let me take a look. Hang on there. I think I might have an idea of how to make this work. Let me help you out, okay? Joanne, could I get you to wait just for a bit? Actually, can I get you to do me a favor? I uh, know, I'm already doing you a favor by going out on a date with you, Bill. Um, the island next to this is called Two Island, real original. There's a guy who runs a game corner. He's always looking after rare rocks and stones. We keep in touch with our fellow maniacs. Would you mind taking this meteorite to him? Um, Joanne, if you're going to go to Tool Island, please take this. It is a pass for the ferry system, serving these three islands. It will allow you to travel between one island, two island, and three island. Also, you should have this too. I'll catch up with you later. Say hi to the guy for me. Okay, so I can't access my PC here. So any Pokemon I catch will have to wait until I get home, get back to, uh, you know. Any Pokemon I catch here will have to wait. So this is one island. This is Kindle Road. And I can get a new encounter here. But there's grass up here, so I'd rather get grass. I'd rather get a grass encounter if I can. A ponyta, level 44. Nice. Dragon Rage it. Dragon Rage it again. Now go into uh, Fabio, because you missed twice with your fire spins, which I'm glad. And you've hit the third fire spin now. That's fine, because Fabio has lefties, and Fabio can take these hits. Thunder wave him. There we go. for a Pokeball. One, two, three. Yeah. Caught the Ponyta. I should have not ran. I should have not ran. <laughs> I really should have not ran. You have so many Pokemon. I mean, I suppose this is leveling I could be using for somebody else. Like, for example, Flex. Flex is running behind at this moment in time, and Flex could be useful. 
Flex might be useful against some of the other Pokemon. So I kind of want to get Flex some levels again. We'll see if Flex is useful here. Throwing rocks at things is very useful though. The Fable. Now, the Fable can learn things that could deal with me, but it doesn't get those things by level up. So, you know, die. I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Uh, we also are coming up to a good grinding spot for this uh, game as well. Not here, though. It's the next... It's the next slow to battles. A Nido King. Well, I'm in with the right Pokemon to deal with Nido King. And slash. Uh, let's go into Flatbrush. I haven't seen Flatbrush for a while. Stay in with flat brush. The scary face is kind of annoying. I, I guess I'm glad he didn't go for the crunch. Because if he going for the crunch, I would have been very scared. I would have been very scared if he had gone for that crunch. Come too far with these Pokemon to just lose them now. I should use one of these uh, repels. Since I am at a situation where I can use them, I should use one of these. So yeah, these uh, beat all of these fighting type trainers are very, very useful for grinding. To face one, of, I have to face uh, one of you guys. Okay, I have to face both of you guys. There we go. This is the Ember Spa. Uh, this is where we get another... We can heal here. And you... HMO6 Rock Smash! I prefer not to teach that to anyone, but I'm going to have to teach it to... I'm one because I can't deal with the PCs right now. We don't need it. Actually, is this a new route? My well, Kindle Road goes all the way up to here, and then Mount Ember takes over from here. From on top of this beach. This is Mount. This is Mount Ember. Okay. 
So I can get an encounter here. When I get the opportunity to, I will. That's a bad mon for, to leave in against uh, a Pidgeot, Joe. So my repel's worn off. That's fine. I think I only need to use Rock Smash if I want to uh, use a shortcut. So I should be okay. I should be okay. Actually, can I psychic you? I can. Cool. This is still Mount Ember even inside this cave here, so technically I can only get one encounter per this area, unless I wanted you to invoke Pinwheel Course, because you do get a different encounter list in here than you would up outside. So I guess I could do that. This is the top of Mount Ember. I didn't even get an encounter for Mount Ember. And we are at Moltres. Do I have enough balls to do this? 15 might be enough. I might be okay on 15. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, same strategy as always. Paralyze it. Okay, it's paralyzed, cool. Now. So my reflect wall. And let's see what Dragon Rage looks like on a pa uh, on a Moltres. Okay, so you have a door. So I now know one of your moves. That's what 40 HP looks like. That's what 80 HP looks like. You're a flamethrower, now I know you've your moves. I guess I can start throwing balls at this point because I don't think I can eat you again. Spin is number one of your moves. Oh, you were incredibly easy. You were not giving me trouble like your brothers were. I honestly thought this was going to be trouble. It was not trouble.
Okay, I do, do get an encounter for here, so... My encounter for Mount Ember is a Snubble, level 44. Ow. Can you, like, not do that? enough uh, dealing with you. There we go. Now can I fly here? I can. Cool. Okay, so let's go to Two Island. Actually, can we surf here? We can. This is the. This should be another route here. This is Treasure Beach. Meow. Meowth it is, level 39. I should probably Dragon Rage you though. To one of those two, but this is the exact same route. So, wait, I can. This is this is one island right here. I could get an encounter further back. So, can I get an encounter here? Because they uh, before the. You know, I could I, I could fish. Let's fish. Counter is a level 36 horsey. There we go. Two iron, please. Okay, so two island. The current is too fast for me to uh, get surf. And the current is too fast for me to actually use a rod. So I can't get an account. I can't get a um, an encounter like that. Um, that's fine. There's a game corner here. Up here is another route. This is Cape Brink. Okay, so my encounter for Cape Brink is an Oddish level 43. And there's my encounter for Cape Brink.
This house here gives me the ultimate starter move. The ultimate moves. If I had a starter Pokemon with maximum happiness, I could use that to uh, gain that. But I don't have starters. There's a cave here. Acura Sanctuary. Hey, Suicune! I love Deoxys' music, by the way. I forgot I was still asleep. I forgot I was still asleep. Oh, ball pop, I did just kill it, didn't I? And that's why I don't do that. Let's, uh... Let's reset. Okay. You know what? I should buy more balls. But at least I know that's here. There's a shop here. You only sell great balls and... Fine, I will buy 50 of your great balls. Great balls and fresh water, that's all you sell here. You sell more in the after game. Alright, catching a Suicune in a great ball is going to be impossible, but... I'm going to try it. Also, I'm still asleep. Now, don't kill it, Joe. Okay, that's 40. That's 80. I don't think I can hit you again. Suicune. And you weren't that much hassle. I actually honestly bought balls because I thought you were going to be a hassle. But you weren't a hassle. You were not a hassle at all. Anyway, I'm going to go and deal with the game corner here. Is there anything that's actually down here for the cut brush? Because I can go and get my cut. I can't actually go and get my cutter because the PCs are broke. Oh yeah, I can't go and get my cutter. There's an item there. Now, where's the stale got to today? She always brings me lunch right about now. You there, have you seen- are you a friend of Lost Al? Have you seen Nostel around? Do you know where she might be? I don't know where she might be. She should have been here a long time ago. Nostel, she's cute. She's got my looks. So if anyone's seen her, 
What if something's happened to Lost Al? Please, you gotta find her. Go and search Free Island for Lost Al. So, this is the game corner. How sad can you... How much sadder can you get? Those clowns. They said they'd be waiting on an island. So where are they? Hey, you. Do you... Is this free island? Is this the only free island around here? Try waking up before you crawl out of bed, punk. This is two island, you idiot. Now move it and get your filthy motorcycle off my porch. Oh. Hey. Oh, I got ya. Tisk. These islands are so confusing. Would you look at that? That punk scuffed up my floor. Anyway, this is where I'm going to choose to end today's episode. So in today's episode, we hatched a lot of Pokemon and we went from one island to uh, we went from Cinnabar Island to one island. We dealed with one island. Now we're at two island. And we're about to travel to three island. And we'll deal with three island in the next episode of our Pokemon. This is the three island path. And there is grass here at Free Island Port. Hey, he gives me a nugget. Nice guy. Nice guy. Anyway, until next time, I'm Josh PH Games. If you enjoyed today's episode, you can go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But until next time, I'm Josh PH Games, and I am out. See you again.